If you want to know what exactly has just happened with Ethereum and the implications of Enterprise Ethereum Alliance on our ecosystem, just watch this. What is the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance and why it is important for the ecosystem? Here you can see all the questions we are going to resolve today. First of all, we will find out what exactly banks want from the blockchain technology. Secondly, we will find out the reason all of them chose the Ethereum blockchain. It is a very interesting topic. Then we will see why they need a private Ethereum blockchain. Consequently, we will explore the working prototype of private Ethereum blockchain. Finally, we'll talk about the reasons we need corporations' participation in Ethereum and what we expect from this partnership. The list of corporations are impressive. The biggest banks, financial institutions, technological giants, blockchain companies and even a petroleum company. All of those companies wouldn't participate in this organization if they weren't sure about the technology. They all already understand what blockchain and Ethereum in particular are capable of. So they gathered to finalize the private version so everybody could use it. The majority of members of EEA outline speed as the most crucial advantage of having a blockchain system. Right now all transactions between banks take a very long time in comparison with blockchain transactions. The reason is simple, all transactions are cleared in a centralized way. So in order to provide safety, the clearing house is slow and quite costly. Lowering costs is another opportunity banks want to exploit. Blockchain is capable of moving huge sums of money while asking a very small fee in return. Well, it doesn't affect Bitcoin because Bitcoin asks too much for too little. Read Twitter of Eric Voorhees if you want to want more information about broken fee mechanism of Bitcoin. Elimination of middlemen grants less spend time on pointless things and gives an opportunity to concentrate more on current work. Blockchain will take care of the rest. Privacy is very important for corporations because they need to preserve confidentiality of their transactions. They simply don't want you to know what exactly they buy or sell so you could use that information against them. In reality, speed and privacy are the main reasons for corporations to participate in blockchain initiatives. I will expand on this a little later. At the end of the day, everybody is a human being. Everyone is motivated materialistically. So Enterprise Ethereum gives an opportunity to save more money so they can spend more money. Let's not forget about that. Here is a scheme which shows a little bit of what is happening now in a banking sphere in a transaction process and a desired future with the Ethereum technology. The scheme named now gives you an idea of what everybody in Enterprise Ethereum wants. Basically, that is all what corporations want. This change in the way transactions are flowing is a big step towards many great advantages for corporations. You can see, based on this slide, that actually the main reason they create their own version of Ethereum is because they need privacy. In other words, they want confidential transactions which are invisible to competitors. The transaction and quorum demo they explicitly concentrated on the fact that only interested parties and the regulator know everything about the transaction. Other participants simply know that there was the transaction, but they don't know other important details such as what currency, amount, financial instrument was transferred in a particular moment. 
that is actually interesting because Ethereum Foundation is planning on implementing ZK Snarks or Zero Knowledge Proofs on public blockchain. This way the participants of the network will be able to send each other transactions and third parties will not be able to identify the details of those transactions. This way it seems to me private blockchain will become very public uh, sooner than I originally thought. Alright, let's now be a little more specific about the reasons they chose Ethereum over other blockchains. One of the main reasons is working smart contracts. Right now Ethereum is the only blockchain that actually works and have the system of smart contracts that work. Not many blockchains have that as of today. And banks are especially eager to try it out because of blockchain benefits. Consensus some time ago showed working financial applications built on Ethereum, which are able to mimic financial instruments of today's financial institutions. Smart contracts are, in my opinion, is what truly got all those companies interested, and it will be a long-lasting interest for them. Continued development in form of EIPs, Ethereum Improvement Proposals, is mentioned as another great feature of Ethereum by Enterprise Ethereum Alliance members. Open discussion and contribution is seen as strong side of the ecosystem, and many members were impressed that the public technology was successfully tested in a highly hostile environment for more than a year and a half. Transaction time is also a strong side of Ethereum, if we compare it to the main competitor, Bitcoin. 10 minute block time on the side of a Bitcoin in comparison to Ethereum's 15 seconds block time is an argument for Ethereum. Proof of stake protocol and sharding is highly anticipated in EEA because amount of transactions will be enormous when banks will transfer from middleman to Ethereum. By that time ETH must improve its ability to scale. DAO bailout and whole situation with DAO is a well-known story among members of Enterprise Ethereum. The funny fact is that from the point of view of EEA members, the DAO bailout showed maturity of the platform and was one of the reasons the EEA was created. Actually, this so-called reason for EEA creation can be interpreted as something bad. It is up to you to choose whether DAO bailout has more negative than positive. Safety is one of the important things which of course matter the most for the corporations. They don't want to lose money and before transferring operations uh, to blockchain they need proofs that nothing unexpected will happen. Finally, I think that Joseph Lubin's connections actually work and his lobbying of Ethereum was a success among EEA members. It is great to see that Joseph's struggle to attract more users was fruitful, but at the moment EEA members agreed to experiment with private chain only. Of course, consensus is highly interested in bringing corporations to public chain, but in my opinion it will take more time and more testing for this to happen. At the end I want to say thanks Joseph, I can see your invisible battle for Ethereum. They haven't only already created something, they have already been testing it for quite a while. Since the beginning of 2015 they began experimenting. In 2015 they already outlined privacy design of Quorum, it is a private version of Ethereum and in 2016 started development of this private blockchain together, together with EFLAP. During their presentation they showed the demo of Quorum. BNY Mellon, JP Morgan and Santander transfer digital coins from one to another. Their concentration during the presentation was on privacy. Only the interested parties were aware of the transaction. For example, when JP Morgan transferred money to Santander, only Santander, JP Morgan and the regulator knew the details of the transaction. For BNY Mellon, it was a set of numbers, which don't mean anything. Basically, that is all, let's now take a look at what we want.
We want corporations to start buying Ether so the capitalization in our pockets could grow in size. Thanks to the company's attention, we already observed the growth in size of the ETH capitalization. When we want them to transfer to public blockchain so that Ethereum could have more transactions and more activity happening on the blockchain. Each new participant makes the network more alive. Everything that matters is adoption. We need more usual everyday people to use Ethereum. Because with every new user the Ether increases in price. More companies and entrepreneurs start to create dApps on the blockchain. Finally, these companies could seriously lobby Ethereum in the government sphere, so we could see more governments actually start using our great platform for anything that can be improved by blockchain.